Want to save $400 on your DJI RTK module? Then watch to the end. Hello. And in today's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to be carrying on the DJI Enterprise series, but also including Drone Link in this one. And that's because we're going to be showing you how to set up RTK on your Enterprise drone in Drone Link. RTK modules allow your drone to get real time correction, often giving centimeter position accuracy instead of the typical three to four meters that GPS normally provides. But having an RTK module on the drone isn't really much help unless it's receiving correction data from somewhere. Often that's a base station such as the DJI RTK module or DRTK or an MLID RS2 or something like that. However, base stations are expensive. So what if I told you there was a way you could get RTK enabled positioning for free? Well, you're in luck because you can do this using something known as the cause network. Cause transmitters are permanently set up in a single location and continue to observe satellites and perform corrections based on any errors they observe. They then broadcast those corrections for anyone to use. You'll often hear the phrase N-trip instead of cause. Uh, N-trip and cause are different things. However, the terms are often used synonymously in our industry. So N-trip is network transport of RTCM via internet protocol and cause continuously operating reference station are forms of RTK differential correction that are done using a cellular modem and a base station network. Most municipalities, country states, um, etc. own these systems and allow public access for anyone that sets up an account. I live in New Jersey, which doesn't have a free cause network, but fortunately I'm close to New York and they do. And for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll use their system, which is managed by the Department of Transport. You can gain access to the New York cause network at cause.dot.ny.gov. And there's a nice little create account button on the top right. So you have to go into there, create an account, and then you have to subscribe to the service. Once you've created an account, you can log in to gain access. Once logged in, the website isn't the most user friendly, but if you look on the left hand side, there's a button marked RTN ports and mount points. And this takes you to a spreadsheet that contains the information we're going to need. As a reminder, this is just for the New York system. If you live in another state, then you should use whichever one is closest to you. The accuracy of the corrections that are sent out drops the further you are away from the mount point. So try to find the closest one to you. Now let's start setting this up on the drone. There are already videos out there showing you how to do this in the Pilot 2 app. So I'm going to focus here on setting this up within the drone link system. Make sure that you have your RTK unit properly attached to the drone and start everything up. Then make sure that your controller is connected to the internet as we'll be receiving the correction data that way. Open the RTK menu from the drone settings in the flight dashboard. Select custom RTK, not DRTK. DRTK would be useful if you were using the DJI base station, but since we are connecting to a cause network, that doesn't work for us. Input the network RTK service details. Those are details that you're going to get from that spreadsheet. So referring to our handy spreadsheet, we can see that the NTRIP host is rtn.dot.ny.gov. The port is based on the mount point for this system. So some places require you to know which mount point you'll be connecting to, and you have to search for that based on location. However, the New York system has a handy feature where we can put in the text near underscore MSM and it will find the one closest to us. And the port number for that is 8080. So put near underscore MSM in that field. The username and password are from the account you created earlier and the port as mentioned earlier is 8080. The good news is you might only have to do this once since the parameters are remembered the next time you come back in and then click start transmitting. Now watch the status under the RTK positioning solution. All being well, after a short while, it should turn green and say fixed position. At this point, you're connected to RTK and receiving correction data. 
If the RTK positioning status shows single point or float, the drone will not be able to take off until fixed point is displayed or RTK is disabled. In some cases, waiting a bit longer will resolve that. However, if it doesn't solve it and you are sure that the data you've entered is correct, you can disable RTK, take off, gain some altitude to clear the obstacles and then turn RTK back on and that might solve the problem. Also, apparently there was a bug in the earlier versions of the Mavic 3 firmware that meant you needed to restart after entering all the details to get it to work. So make sure you're on the latest version of the firmware. Now you're ready to get out and start running your drone knowing that the drone position is being corrected in real time. RTK equals real time kinematic and your position is solid. Note that you can also see the RTK status on the dashboard by looking at the GPS icon at the top. You should now see that it has a green RTK next to it, indicating that all is well. RTK modules are a great tool and becoming more important for a number of use cases. For example, if you have a Mavic 3 Enterprise and you want to make use of the new facade feature, which I'll be covering soon, that is only enabled if RTK is present. In the US, the RTK module retails for just over $700. However, if you want to know how to get your hands on one for under $300, I'm going to ask you to do something I don't normally do, which is like the video and subscribe. And then leave a comment saying that you've done that, and I'll send you the link. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe, even if you don't need the cheap RTK unit. And I'll see you in the next video.